You may have noticed in the previous video about cursors that we've actually introduced a new feature here as well, which is the loop. There are actually a few different types of loops that we can use, as you would expect with a programming language. We have infinite loops, we have do loops, and we have while loops. In this example we've used an infinite loop. Essentially what MySQL will do when it's processing this query is it will start this loop at the loop command and then it will repeat every action within that loop command until this end loop sentence is actually reached and then it will repeat its gain infinitely. It will continue this process until either we specifically tell the loop to stop or an error message occurs. So in this case we're fetching data out of a cursor and there's only so much data in that cursor and so eventually we're going to receive an error message telling us that there's no more data in the cursor to actually cycle through. Now as I mentioned there is also the while loop which we type just by while and then the actual condition. So if we wanted to make another infinite loop we could what do 1 equals 1 and end the word do and instead of end loop we would change this to end while. Now what will happen is this will effectively be an infinite loop again because of the way we've set it up with this one equals one condition. But you can obviously put whichever conditions in there that you like. Every time that MySQL actually cycles through this loop it's going to check this evaluation to see whether it's still true or not. If it is true it will obviously process the commands within the loop. If it's not true, it will go to the end while line and then continue with the rest of the process. The alternative is what I referred to as the do loop earlier. The actual syntax for this is repeat. And then the actual statement that we want to repeat. And then to end the loop we actually change this to end repeat. But we also put at the end here an until statement. And what this will do is it will always execute the commands within the actual loop itself at least once. This contrasts with the while statement because if the condition is already true in a while statement the commands will not be executed. Whereas in this case the commands will always be executed at very least one time and only after the commands have been executed will it actually check whether the condition is now true. Depending on how you're actually trying to manipulate data and what you're using the loop for, either method could be preferable. One example of when you may want to use a while loop instead of a repeat loop is if you want to validate information before you insert it into a database. And by turning that around, one obvious use of a repeat loop would be trying to validate data after you've withdrawn it from a database before you return it as part of a query. And one obvious use of the infinite loop that we used in our last video with the loop command would be if you just want to brute force the data, you just want to make sure that it is actually inserted into the database one way or another, you're not worried about validation in any way, shape or form. It's difficult to actually demonstrate the use of loops because they can be used in so many different ways and they are very conceptual but I hope I've explained the differences between each of the main types of loop and the scenarios when you would want to use each one well enough. You would obviously need to go ahead and use whichever type of loop best suits the specific needs of your application in the specific part that you're writing at the moment. There's no one right or wrong way to do things.